Alasia Franklin was a radiant student with dreams of becoming a nurse. She had fire in her belly. Her mission was to speak up for those who couldn't speak for themselves, recalled Anthony Harrison, her friend and fellow student who worked alongside her in student government. Anthony, a senior and vice president of KSU's Student Government Association, woke up on Saturday, May 18, 2024, to the sound of gunshots at the Austin Residence Complex on campus. All I can remember is stepping out and being struck by the horror that lay before me, he told reporters from Atlanta's Fox 5 station. Discovering his dear friend Alasia Franklin had been shot, he immediately called 911. I couldn't even... I couldn't even recognize her, sobbed Anthony, as he recounted the scene to a reporter. I stood over her as I was on the phone. That moment will haunt me for a long time. University officials and police are still piecing together what happened before the shooting occurred, but they have a suspect in custody, 21-year-old Samuel Harris. He faces charges of murder, aggravated assault, and illegal possession of a firearm, according to records from Cobb County Jail. Anthony reminisces about meeting Alasia for the first time. I interviewed her, and right away, during our Zoom call, I could sense her bright spirit and amazing personality, he shared. Alasia quickly became an influential figure on campus. She was an active member of KSU's chapter of the National Council of Negro Women, NCNW, and founded the Integrated Health Science Club. She was involved in everything on campus and anyone who knew her could attest to her infectious positivity, said Anthony. She was motivated and focused, but seeing her in that state, it's just too much. Our hearts and deepest sympathies go out to the victim's loved ones during this unfathomably difficult time, KSU President Kathy S. Schwag said in a statement. Alinda Fortner just can't find the words. I can't tell you what I felt. There aren't any words to describe. There's not enough emotions listed. To really paint the picture of what it's like to find out that her daughter, 21-year-old Alasia Franklin, was shot and killed on Kennesaw State University's campus. I got the first initial phone call from the suspect's mother. KSU police say the suspect, Samuel Harris, allegedly shot Franklin after a dispute here in front of the Austin residence complex. Fortner says Harris had dated her daughter since high school. While she believes they broke up, Fortner didn't know Harris to be a violent person. That's why she can't fathom why he would want to hurt Franklin. We have to do better at parenting and teaching our young men how to treat a woman and how to deal with life when it's not going your way. And that's the message she's trying to get out. Fortner says you can't always control an open campus, but parents can start early in teaching their children the right way to handle anger so deaths like Alasia's won't keep happening. There can be more structured security, possibly. But the protection that's needed for our black women, it starts at home. When I asked Fortner what justice looks like to her, she told me even if Harris is found guilty and given the maximum sentence, it wouldn't be enough for what's been done to her daughter.